Hey guys, Adam here again. Uh, we're going to do an upgrade to my Lenovo ThinkServer TS140 today. Uh, I've had this machine for a few months now. It's the domain controller for my lab domain that I have here. Uh, it runs Windows Server 2012 R2, which I got through my school. And uh, basically, it's running on a standard uh, SATA hard drive right now. So I purchased a uh, used, in this case, Samsung 840 uh, SSD and it only has four gigabytes of RAM that it comes with from the uh, Lenovo factory so I purchased uh, another 12 so that we can uh, get it up to 16 because I am going to be running some virtual machines um, some FreeBSD virtual machines on this and I would like to actually uh, have enough memory to do that so I am going to uh, instead of reinstalling Windows I'm going to try to clone um, the current installation from the hard drive that's in here. It's only 140 gigabyte hard drive. This is 120 gigabyte SSD. The drive is not full, so everything should fit on here. I also have this uh, adapter because there are no SSD uh, sized uh, two and a half inch uh, hard drive mounts inside of this thing. So I'm going to put the hard drive in one of these. I haven't used one of these before. It seems like it's better than the brackets and stuff, so I'm going to try it just because it seems like it would. Uh, I don't know, be less finicky and stuff. So I'm going to give this a try and see how I like it. And if I do like it, I'll probably use these on any of my cases that don't have uh, two and a half inch drives. Because after this machine, every one of my machines on my entire house, uh, which I actually have like seven Windows based machines, all of them are going to have SSDs now. So life will be a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the side cover off and we'll take a look inside, get the memory installed. Alright, so I already installed uh, two of the memory sticks in there, but uh, this is what it, the the specifications of the memory are right there. So they're four gigabytes, uh, PC twenty uh, twelve hundred or twelve thousand eight hundred. Uh, this is ECC memory, um, which is you know good for servers. I've never actually really had memory issues where there was an error that got saved to disk or anything, but um, I suppose it is good to have. This is backwards. So I hard to do this with one hand here but um, basically the hard drive is probably the main thing that holds back any machine these days so if you can upgrade to an SSD performance will be significantly better and uh, like I said that uh, I'm gonna be putting this SSD into this adapter and it's the first time I've actually used one of these so I'm kind of curious how it's gonna work out I usually use the uh, little metal brackets that go on the outside but this seems like a better solution that are pretty cheap on eBay too so you pretty much just jam this thing in here it might be impossible to do with one hand oh there it goes all right so I guess I say it comes with this little bag of uh, screws and stuff I guess that's just mounted in the case and the lid should just slide right back on here as again probably not the easiest thing to do when holding a camera Oh, it wasn't that bad. So, uh, yeah, I think that's actually going to work pretty nicely. So, see how this goes, too. All right, I'll have to forgive the uh, lighting in here because I'm up in my bedroom and it's the daytime outside, so uh, lamps aren't really going to help. If you hear a horrible hard drive noise, it's just uh, this free NAS machine here. It has a bad drive I'm resilvering. It actually has two bad drives in it, so I'm trying to resilver one at a time. Uh, all my crap is right here. It's kind of a computer maintenance day today. So uh, let's go ahead and get the CD in here. I have no idea which button I need to press. Hopefully it's just set up to uh, boot from CD automatically here. Uh, that CD drive doesn't sound great. That's a brand new CD drive too. Uh, I, feel like I don't think I've ever even used the optical drive on this machine. So that's fun. Okay, so it's trying to boot into Windows. So let's stop that from happening here. Have to figure out how I get my boot options here. And the getting in the BIOS on this machine is weird, so I imagine booting the, the boot settings are probably weird too. And it goes by so quick you barely get a chance to read. I actually had to look up how to get into the BIOS on this machine. I'm just pressing lots of stuff here. That it would commonly be. Yay, it worked. Okay. 
Alright, so we're ready to go ahead and uh, try booting this thing up off of the SSD. I already went into the BIOS and configured the boot order, so it should be correct. My camera does not want to focus really at all. The lighting's crazy in here. There we go, it's focusing a little bit. So let's see how much better the boot time is now. It used to take just about forever because that hard drive um, that was in here is a uh, it's actually 160 gigabyte. I lied about it being 140 or whatever I said. Uh, it was. It's one of the uh, original SATA drives. It has like the uh, Molex power on it still. So this thing is basically as slow as an IDE hard drive. So uh, this should be a pretty big improvement. It already is uh, loading into Windows here, so that is already a huge improvement. Uh, of course, Windows Server takes a little longer to start than regular Windows because it uh, loads a lot of services and stuff like that. I have uh, Active Directory on here. I have a, a certificate authority for my domain. Uh, it runs my DNS. Uh, a couple other things too. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here uh, locally, which I haven't done forever. And we'll take a look and just make sure everything's working right. Alright, so we're at the, uh, the desktop here. The server manager loads nice and fast. Uh, I'm probably going to have some errors because I have some hard drives that I haven't reconnected now because I disconnected the uh, the ones that do handle the Windows backups and stuff like that. So uh, some of our services are not going to be running correctly, but that's all right. So make sure I haven't actually checked yet. Uh, my memory, yep, memory is working. Uh, I do always install uh, Classic Shell on pretty much every single modern Windows computer I use because I hate the Metro interface so much. Uh, even in the Windows 10 type. Windows 10 technical preview I have that running on the, on my uh, bedroom machine I still use that because uh, it's just terrible that even the the improved start menu thing that they have in Windows 10 is just it's not usable so anyway uh, yeah everything seems to be functioning correctly all my settings seem to have made it over I'll probably install Samsung magician on here just so I can run some diagnostics on the uh, the doohickey the SSD can't can't think of words today but uh anyhow i want to thank you guys for watching and i will catch you next time